my name is Miss Kev. After two years of living full time in my van Luna, I had to sell her. Initially, I felt anxious and uncertain about what the future held. However, as they say, if things are meant to be, everything tends to work out. By trusting in the unknown, I felt guided and decided to volunteer for three weeks in Italy. I booked a one-way ticket to Venice. I invite you to join me on this one-month mini-series in Italy. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. Ciao, ciao! We are checking out. Finally! I wash my hair. These people who slept here last night, the snoring was ridiculous. Like this woman, she just, I just wanted to like shake her and be like, get a private room. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I'm on my way to, I'll explain more on the train to be honest. I'm sweating. the colors Summer. okay we're on the train it's nice and clean wow well done Italy so this is gonna take I think 46 minutes Lonesome Just arrived and I actually have my own double bed because there was a couple arriving I was gonna be in the bunk bedroom I'm so grateful I'm here. I wanna cry I'm so grateful these people are so nice it's exactly what the doctor ordered internet is good shower and I'll be back so I am I'm at my world packers volunteer I'm here till the 29th of June which is literally I feel like it's around the corner it's 18 days time this is my third day here I'm a little bit panicked and the only reason why is because so the whole plan of me coming on this volunteer program was I don't have to pay rent I can work and I can save money but because of the whole delay of the van and I wasn't sure what I was doing, volunteer programs for July might be fully booked. So I'm going to still, every day, I'm just going to take an hour to respond to, to apply for world packers in Europe to see where I can travel to. But I've been open to a few options and I thought I'd just discuss that now. <laughs> so... Option number one, obviously try to get volunteer programs in. Option number two, travel to the most cheapest place in Europe and stay there. Um, I'm, and I'm aiming for hostel rooms that are like between 10 to 15 pounds a night. That's why I came to Europe so that it's more cheaper for me to stay in a hostel um, than in the UK. Option two, option three would be to leave the EU and go into South America, potentially Hawaii for those back, those um, 
what's it called, those World Packet Trips there, because there's loads of co-living. There's one in Brazil that I found that was really cool, but the flights cost a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm a little bit panicked, I'm not gonna lie, but just because I need to be mindful of my money, I don't wanna be spending loads of money. I just, this is the adventure, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning, good morning. I have been obsessed with researching condos in Phuket. <laughs> Bro, let's get up and let's talk. So I watched my videos back yesterday, which was funny. And I actually, when I was in Venice, I was like, get me back to Thailand. The bots are better. So obviously I'm in a situation where it's not planned like all of this is just a last minute decision jump on this world packers opportunity because it's a way for me to not pay rent because that's that can be your biggest expense and to travel like to travel i would put that in inverted commas like the world packers was fantastic to travel because you go volunteer in different spaces but I would still need to have accommodation in between whilst you transition, right? So there's still that expense a little bit. You still have to buy your own food. So you still got a food expense. Quite fortunate with my, with this volunteer work at the moment because it is flexible. There isn't a real schedule at this stage, but it's really difficult for me to get in the workflow because obviously you've got to have dinner at night as like a communal part, which is lovely. Like, I love that. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have that. But unfortunately for me, I don't see it being a longevity thing. So I've had to really think about my situation. This location, it's great. It's rural. But for me to do anything, I need to rely on volunteer program hosts to take me places because there isn't really public transport around here so i'm quite isolated which is it's fine for this three weeks basically and they were kind enough to say that they'll drop me off on my off days wherever i need to be the cost of living let's just talk about the cost of living as a nomad so obviously the cost of living is like in europe i went to have a meal it's 20 euros okay we are in the height of summer now, coming in July and August, and those prices are just going to go up. I researched on Airbnb a place for the month. Where can I go? So actually, it's off season now in Thailand, which is super ideal. So I looked at Phuket because the last time I, after my Bangkok trip um, and Thailand trip, I was like, I want to go straight into the beach. Like, I do not want to go to Bangkok. I want to fly straight into Phuket because it's just better. Let's make a coffee and go outside because I tend to not do this. I don't know what's wrong with me, but we're in this beautiful location. So let's make some coffee. Let's go outside. I'm gonna my meeting starts at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to have the morning outside for sure. Have some breakfast. I'll drink a nice glass of water before anything with some lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So I really want to, when I leave, I really want to give this host family like a gift. I don't know what to give them though, um, because they're just the cutest. I can't even explain. Like, I wish I was their friends. <laughs> My favorite thing with couples is when they so are a team and they love each other so much. That's like my favorite. Like, they're very traditional here. Like, well, I would say traditional in terms of like, um, they appreciate making things by yourself, like home cooking and um, eating well and talking. Like they don't have, like digital transformation is not in this house, <laughs> which is good. I like it. And they've, they really have kept the honored, the old architecture. And, just that's nice like I really like preserving that like that's one thing I do like preserving about tradition is like 
like me, I love holistics, you know, like there's nothing better than holistics. Okay, this is a must every morning. So my stomach has been like <sighs> challenging. How incredible is this space? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's talk quickly because I don't have much time. <laughs> These cats are hilarious. Okay, so basically, what's up? Hey, what are you saying? But I'm having my breakfast. I really want a pool. A, I definitely need a pool because basically we know 1.0 Natasha, she needs to be by the water. She needs to have a pool by her. So if I can't be by the beach, I need a pool for sure. I really enjoyed swimming. Like that was really keeping up my health when I was in Thailand. So I swam a lot. I ate really healthy. I really liked having my own space. That was just amazing. The cost of living. So like the massages. You can get a whole place for even 212, uh, 200 to 300 bar, uh, pounds. Um, it's so easy to have that. In terms of budget, it's exactly what I need. And I think I'm gonna start there because you still have to pay your own electric and water. So I'm gonna make sure that I um, start there, work on my budget and I can always like upgrade if I need to, but like, Saving 175 pounds is really well worth it. And if you've got a facility that has what you need, there's no need for anything else, is there? Um, so I also, because I don't drive a scooter at the moment, I want to be able for walking distance from places. I can get a grab, all these stuff. I always knew I wanted to go back to Thailand, but I didn't realize so soon. It just hits every tick box. Affordability luxury um the sun the heat the beach cost of living massages so hi i'm working at the moment we moved the table over here which is awesome one week into world packers and yeah i really really am enjoying myself um i feel quite blessed to be with this family to be honest um it's an amazing couple of green and all the colors some um so I, for the last three days, I've been lethargic. Like, I can't even explain it. I've been bed bound for sure. Now, it first started in my gut where I just had a complete loads of inflammation on my gut. My stomach's been massive. Like, so anyway, I landed up buying supplements and I'm so grateful. I think I spent like £100, which is like worth every penny in my opinion. Then this morning I woke up and I was like... I am, I can sleep, like, I want to sleep, so I landed up, um, messaging my host to tell her, look, yeah, I just am not feeling well, like, 
I'm just exhausted. Like this chronic fatigue is just ridiculous now. She said, no problem, uh, just rest. And I then felt like I'd give myself permission to sleep. And I slept like most of the day. Um, I was supposed to go to Verona on Friday and Padova on Saturday, but I've postponed this now till next weekend. Just rejuvenate, we're eating really, really well. And to be honest with you, this evening, I felt the best I have in a, in a week. Mm -hmm. the lazy river day canoe Bathing in the turquoise blue Losing track of time with you Another beach pie sunset Um, I've just been hiking for like 30 minutes. I'm just about to carry on. I mean, what a week. I thought I'd just check in. I actually, this week was a ride off for me because my gut health has been really bad. I've had severe bloating, which has been really annoying, to be honest. I've been eating clean for two weeks, which I'm super grateful for. And um, my supplements arrived, but my gut now needs time just to heal hopefully in the next week it will be all settled so i'm just trying to do some exercise try to balance my sleep and try to not stress as much <laughs> so yeah wow what a stunning place hey eh? look at this so it's been so incredible here i how did i get here is through world packers I will do a separate video about world packers but it's basically you pay for the year and you volunteer um around the world like you can choose anything it's awesome especially someone like me i need to feel like i'm giving back to society um it gives me reflection where introspection so i know how to navigate my life forward not everybody needs it, but I do for sure. Um, what's been incredible is my first World Packers. It's the host also first World Packers. They have just been absolutely incredible. They're just genuinely nice people and looking to do greatness in the world. So for me to be able to help people who share the similar value to me is a no-brainer. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning 